Welcome to the Prelude to Computer Science series. Uh, this is a brief interlude to answer a few questions. The first question is, what is a computer? A computer is a device that executes an algorithm. An algorithm is just a list of instructions for how to do something. Now, the algorithm has to be coded in a language that the computer understands, or it has to be coded in a language that you can translate into something the computer understands. <laughs> and we'll talk about that later. Uh, question number two, what is computer science? Computer science is what you're going to be learning about computer science next year is not science at all, really. Um, there are parts of science in general computer science, but not uh, what you're going to be doing. Uh, next year you're going to be doing programming. You're going to be learning about programming, which is really an engineering discipline. And you you can talk about that later. Um, question number three, why do I start uh, this explanation at the beginning of the universe? <laughs> Uh, the, the, the explanation for that is that <clears throat> it's very easy to get in over your head and believe that you understand things that you in fact do not. This is a problem for students in school who um, maybe just look at some material and say, yeah, 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 I understand, ah, I get that, I get that, and they go on and they go on and eventually they get to a point where they're completely confused and that's because they didn't really master the fundamentals of what they were studying they just sort of breezed past it without really understanding it uh, and understanding takes time and, and effort uh, and, it, and you can't just assume that you understand things you have to really stop and think about them um, that this is this also happens a lot with adults for what it's worth um, many time many problems in the world are caused by adults who believe that they understand things that they really don't so <laughs> and this just stems from this is just more behavior that they've learned in school they learn it in school and then they go out and they, they practice that that same habit that they learned as adults uh, so I'm trying to make sure that you understand things at a very fundamental level. Uh, uh, I could even go more basic than what <laughs> what we're doing here. Uh, so uh, that that's the answer I give to that. Hope that that's sufficient. And finally, the fourth question is, uh, how do computers understand what we tell them to do? That's actually a very complicated question, and I hope by the end of this series that you have a good handle on that. I'll give you some hints about it right now. You'll note that you can't just speak to the computer and you have to type into the computer most of the time if you wanted to do things. There are exceptions to that, but generally you have to type in things. And generally you have to f follow a very rigid format. You can't just type in anything. You have to type in things in a very specific way and if you make the slightest little deviation uh, many times you'll get uh, either an error as a result or you'll get what you something you didn't uh, intend to happen or it might just give you an, uh, you know just, might just do nothing uh, the bad news is sometimes uh, if you're not careful it might do something but you didn't know it did something so uh, that's a hint uh, you'll you'll learn uh, a lot more about this as uh, the series uh, progresses and certainly you'll learn a lot more about that uh, when you take uh, computer science next year. So thank you very much for the questions and I look forward to another round of them.